niggas don't lie to you. Bitches don't lie to you. I rap it, I can't rap about this shit. What's up, folks? Funny when you got nothing to do niggas. It's a new year. What the fuck? I can't relax. Only just putting around here is goddamn lotion on you. I just put the lotion on and the shit is gone already. I mean, whatever. Hey. This is the greatest Detroit song of all time. Every bar is a fact. The soul, the meaning, the production, the pain. Greatest album of all time in Detroit. I told you I'm only playing my music for now because you two want to play a little hate ass little emails. Hey man, hey man, hey man, hey guys, now that when the song you playing in the beginning of your podcast, and you know it, this isn't yours. I guess what, bitch? Now you got to pay me. Yeah. All right, come on, man. God's favorite podcast. What's up, y'all? It's Oprah Roller Band, Big Stain Rolling. It's a new year, 2022. What y'all niggas talking about, man? Huh? Who the fuck is thunk? We'd have made it to 2022. I thought the world was going to end last year. Then a year before that. Then 10 years before that. Then 12 years before that. I mean, you know, who fucking do? That you know, it was all a hoax. It was all some bullshit. I mean, don't get twisted. We are in some crazy ass times. Pandemics everywhere. Animals acting crazy. You know, bitches acting crap. No, oh, never mind. That's normal. Ha 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 ha! Not only female problems. I'm just talking shit. So what's up, y'all? This is God's favorite podcast, episode seven. You know, episode seven. Talk about to get down today. You know what I'm saying? You guys thought I quit? Nah, I took a little break, man. It was New Year's holidays. It was so much shit going on, man. I just really, I had to just find space to balance it all, man. You know, pretty upset that I didn't wear my black Santa hat. Last week, what the fuck was I thinking? Come on, man, that's a, a no brainer. All right, it's a no fucking brainer. How the fuck did I forget that? I for, I, I I tried to wear a Santa a Christmas decoration. What the fuck am I talking about? Grab Black Santa, you're Black Santa. Grab the hat, whatever. <sighs> Feels good to just breathe positivity to a brand new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope everybody's been having a blast over the past holiday season. And, um, you know, we're back to it, man. The year's not started. It's back to get back. It's, it's time to get back to work, okay? A lot of interesting things have been going on, you know what I'm saying? Uh, can't believe that I fucking actually got into some more beef. What the fuck? We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. We're going we're gonna to address it. We're going to talk about it. All right, but how the fuck did I end up into some more bullshit? I mean, I just don't understand. You know, I'm over, man. Like, I'm the coolest thing in the world. Why y'all want to fuck with me? I don't know. Whatever. I'm here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Christmas holiday season. What do I do? Uh, New Year's Eve. What do I do? Kick it with the babies. Cook the Christmas dinner. And chill out for the week and kick it with the babies. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was it was that type of time for me. You know, I'm a new dad still. You know, I'm on two years in. Okay. And hey, kick it with the babies. Sung songs with the kiddos. You did. My New Year was very, very, very um mature. Ugh. Can't believe that shit. Who the fucking thought? You know? Whatever, nigga. I hope y'all had fun. Once again, like I said, hope y'all had fun on y'all's and shit. Let's get this thing popping. Let's get this thing started. So now, oh, I told you we started another podcast. You know, this podcast thing is kind of interesting because, you know, uh, you learn, when, as in anything new, you learn that when you jump off the porch and do something, you get a lot of people who are really loved ones, really, but a lot of people want to come in and, and divulge their two cents, you know, on how you can maybe do things better, improve here, there, whatever, right? So, you know, my friends, my circle of friends, okay, we started a fucking group chat for some years, and now we decided to turn into a podcast, okay? We turned into a podcast on Twitter. All right, we have a Twitter link. Every Thursday we've been doing it, but I told him, hey, we're we going to make some changes, all right? Because we can't just do every Thursday because people got shit to do, all right? That's what it is. So we're just going to just, just pay attention when when when, when uh, uh, created events, okay, uh, events happen in the world. We're going to be on Twitter talking about it, discussing it wholeheartedly, all honesty. And if you think I'm disrespectful, 
<laughs> if you think these past six episodes have been disrespectful, boy, do you have to hear this group chat uh, podcast, all right? So uh, a group chat term podcast on Twitter. Check it out whenever it fucking happens. I can't even give you a date. That's how, We're all unorganized. This, this isn't just a me thing. This is everybody I'm around. Our lives are in fucking shambles. Okay, we're like the fucking uh, what's that football movie? Uh, the uh, where they the can't get rice, the fucking replacements. Yes, that's us. That's our lives. All right. <laughs> so that's the fuck we got going on, man. Um, a lot of interesting topics. It was just funny to see that um, my friends fail a little bit. Felt felt kind of good to see my boys fail. First, first, first episode was a major success. Had some homeboys that you know got a little bit of fame to them, jumped into it. Second episode. Mm, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> you know? I mean, hey. But it's all good. Bumps, bruises. You know how we do it. We're going to keep it pushing. Keep it going. Find better ways to have fun with it. As long as you're having fun, man, you can't really fail. You know? That's just a common philosophy. I know you guys have heard it before. Whatever, though. Who cares? Not on Wick. I know you niggas heard this crazy shit this nigga said. And it wasn't really too crazy. But it was just crazy that he was around a bunch of grown people. And no one corrected him. I agree. So not only, I don't know if you niggas know who this guy is. This guy that says, doom, doom, doom. What the fuck is that? That shit, right? Okay. He got the song that has that in it. And it went like super viral and shit. You know how to, if you say something and it goes viral, now you're now a celebrity and all this type of shit. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Money, monetize your situation, my brother. Um... I don't wait, put out a record. He's doing interviews, promo run. You know, he got more records coming. I fuck with the young dog. He's kind of, he, he's in the, he falls in the same category as everybody else, but he's, he, it's something about him that's a little bit different. I kind of fuck with him. Maybe it's his voice. I don't know what it is, but I fuck with him. All right, me personally. Um, I don't know him, but I mean, you know, musically, I fuck with him. I'll tell you this. He sat here on a podcast and said, they asked him, yeah, man, have you ever had a job? He said, nah, man, I can't get no job. Why the fuck would I have a job? Why can I just rob people? Why can I just fucking rob people? Well, that, that's fair. <laughs> I, I'm not mad at no young street nigga thinking like this with this type of philosophy, with this type of vigor. But the one thing I did, the one problem I did have with it was that you're around three niggas who got jobs. Nigga, stand up for yourself. Everybody in the room was like, yeah, 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 that's real shit. Yeah, that's real though shit. I mean, that's not real. You the nigga with the job. He's talking about robbing you, nigga. <laughs> Do you get it? He's going to rob you on Friday, nigga. You talking about some good job. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's real. I hope he robs the fuck out of y'all. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? You know, um, now, nah, and then, you know, I signed a homie. Might, well, I don't know. I can't call him a homie, but you know. The homeboy, my son, he said, hey, um, grown niggas, what y'all doing in influencing this? Woo, woo, woo. I feel you, my son. You got to be on your, you know, maturity shit. I don't, I don't really look at, uh, oh, I mean, you know, that's just me, though. I had to start thinking about the world. That's the main thing I learned about jumping into the entertainment business. You can't think about yourself as being how you believe and what you believe and what you know and what you learn. It's not what the world knows, learn, believes, and all that shit. Okay. So you have to think about the world, the worldly aspect. Me personally, I don't give a fuck about the worldly aspect. But I'm supposed to think of you guys when I say shit. Like, I'm not supposed to say the R word on here. You know what I'm saying? So now I got to say, everybody's slow. Still be the same thing, different words. Don't know how that fucking does not offend somebody, regardless, but whatever. I mean, okay, if a nigga says, ha, 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 fat ass nigga, I'm going to say, damn, man, that was rude. But this nigga says, ha, 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 big bone ass nigga. I'm going to still say, damn, that was rude, nigga. Damn, that was rude. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But hey, this is my fucking point. My, my, my fucking opinion. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck do I know? Whatever. Not a witness from fucking Jacksonville, Florida. Let me say something about Jacksonville, Florida. Me and Dage did a tour. Yes, you guessed it. That's right. Dage Loaf. Me and Dage Loaf went on a fucking tour. And Jacksonville, Florida was one of the stops. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Hey. Jacksonville, fucking Florida. Beautiful city. Lit people. Women. Hey. Water. We stayed in this big, beautiful fucking hotel. I don't know what the fuck. I can't even remember what the fucking name was. I just remember that it was a beautiful hotel. It was rich as hell. 
It was uh, white people everywhere having a fucking ball. Get up to we got the top of the fucking Florida hotel. I get up to the top of the fucking Florida hotel. Open the, I don't know, we don't like, maybe 24th, 21st, 24th floor, some shit like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is living, okay? Yeah, we in Florida, this is the ball. I get inside the room, oh, yeah, the room nice and everything. I get to the curtains, I, ah. You know how you just want the sun to just beam on you? You know what I'm saying? You want that early sun, that early sunrise to just beam on you. And just, 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 just bring, just bring all the life that you can to the room. All the energy that you can to the room. And we faced the Jacksonville River. I don't know if it's called the Jacksonville River. Whatever the fuck that river is, you guys. I don't even think that's a fucking river. It looks like a goddamn sewage line. Jacksonville, Florida. What the fuck is wrong with your water? Jesus Christ. I mean, dog. The river was black. The river was black. I was like, yo. And it was a fucking yacht. Uh, what's the nigga name that owns uh, Dallas uh, Mavericks? Mark Cuban or some shit like that? The river was black. It was a fucking 70 foot gap right in front of my window, right here. I'm outside, and I guess people about to go on a cruise. I don't know where they about to go. I know they glad they about to get the hell up out of there. Jacksonville, Florida. Hey, water don't look like that, baby. Y'all gotta figure it out. Okay? Y'all gotta figure it out. And listen, I'm gonna tell you like this. If I was drinking water like that, I'd be killing everybody in the city too. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there, man. I'm just saying, hey, man, I'm just being real. I'm saying, hey, I understand. You know, the Willis and Dillers, okay? <laughs> I'm just keeping it being with you, man. Hey, look, Jacksonville, Florida, like I said, man, we had a we had a dog-ass show out there. I, I can't even cap. You know, I'm talking shit but about that water, the series, but, I mean, hey, the show was fire. So I'm not even mad. You know what I'm saying? What else happened this week, man? Ah! You seen PZ here? You seen PZ here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Guess what, buddy? <sighs> Oprah approved. I'm fucking with it, okay? I, I see all the memes. I see what you guys are doing. You guys disrespect my boy. You guys are just going in. I mean, the pressure thing was kind of typical. Okay, cool. Fat nigga pressure, hair, got it. Whatever. I've been there before. I've done it before! It's just funny because, hey, PZ does it. And it's, ha, 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 ha. Oh, he's such a comedic genius. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, he's such an entertainer, interesting rapper. Oba does it. I'm broke. <laughs> Oba does it. I lost my fucking mind. Oba, man, you see Oba in his hair? He lost his fucking mind. He's trying. Oba tries anything now. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to reach him. I swear, man, I, I promise you, in 2022, I'm coming big chain. I'm coming big chain and you bitch ass niggas that think I'm broke and think I'm bum, bummy and dusty and crummy and all that shit. Yeah, I gotta come. I gotta come big, big chain with it. Because I'm learning the, the bigger the chain, the more shit you can get away with. It's because I got these little baby, little babies. I got the little, little babies around my neck. You know? I think they fly. I think they dicey. I think I'm, you know, I think I'm, you know, doing my thing. Nah, nah. I got to put something that's as big as my fucking gut around my goddamn neck. Just let you bitch ass niggas know, hey, man, I'm an entertainer. I'm a rapper. All right? Because PG does it, he gets completely away with it. Bitches all in the DMs and shit. All he's getting all type of titty pics and shit. You bitches ain't send me no titty pics. I wanted some titty pics for my hair being sweet. I done cut my shit now. I ain't got no hairline either. I've been saying this shit for years. Now, now, now it's cool because he accepted it. He's embracing it. All oh, you motherfuckers is crazy. Shout out to PZ, man. You're swagging out with that motherfucking haircut. You do look crazy as hell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's get into it, man. You know, I told y'all like these podcasts to be kind of short. You know, it's a few other things I can talk about, but uh, let's get to the meat and gravy of things. Okay? Let's get to it. Beef! Niggas want to beef with over motherfucking rolling. I don't even understand. Nigga, what they rolling? Nigga, what they smoking? I, I just don't get it. Like, why you want to beef with me? What the fuck did I do to you? Make you want to beef with me? Vezo, I swear Vezo, man, this week, man, he came out with a statement. He said, hey, these Detroit videographers, we got some of the laziest videographers in the history of videographers in Detroit, Michigan. 
These niggas don't want to get up, don't want to get a bag, don't want to improve yourself, don't want to woot, 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 right? Boom. I said, okay. You know, okay. I can, you can tell that it was coming from a place of frustration. Like he probably had, um, maybe experienced something, argument or something, or minutes prior to the statement. You know, something's going on. Like, you know, something's going on personally with him. You can tell. Okay. But the concept still stays the same. The premise still stays the same. Okay. The accusations are still on the fucking table. Detroit, we have a lack in professionalism with our videographers. I said this years ago. Always been saying this for fucking years. All right. We have a lack of professionalism in more than just videographers. Engineers, videographers, producers sometimes. I personally, if you ask me, I think producers are doing probably the best out of all these genres, out of all these categories, right? But definitely not uh, uh, misprofessionalism, uh, mismanaged professionalism between other rappers, other artists, okay? Managers, party promoters. Yeah, nigga, we're in a janky fucking business. You know what I mean? Nonetheless, what they said has some validity, validity, validity to it. Validity, validity, validity. What they said has some validity to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're not editing that out. <laughs> That's this podcast. This is God's favorite because it's, because it's us, it's ourselves, it's unique. You know what I'm saying? So I commented. I said, I said this years ago. But y'all go all broke. Ha 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 ha. I'ma elaborate this week on my podcast. Send. Bid it. Send. It's how I send. Bid it. Send. Bitch. And I sit back on my throne. And I say, hey, let's see what the people think. Immediately. By the way, this is this was done on the, uh, a blog on on Instagram, an Instagram blog. I guess those exist now, right? That's what we can call them, right? An informational, a news page on Instagram that was created for Detroit, called the, the Detroit Discussion. Perfect time to put a, a a fucking thing like this on there. This is a great discussion we're having. Okay. Detroit this discussion hits you back and meet me. Use this for the post. Use this post for the podcast. Over. Good looking. I'm going to repost it. Shout out to the Detroit discussion. Good looking, my brother. All right. But you're not my enemy. Mr. Discussion, you're not my enemy. My enemy commented, commented between, between my response and your response. I said, that's you. Say less. My enemy came on and said, Oba, don't play. Let me say it in his voice. Oh, but don't play me like me. And you know, this thing up and I am and I'll be in your shoe. And get right back to you. Who are you talking to, Oba? <laughs> what more did you ask for, Oba? <laughs> that's what the fuck the nigga said to me. Y'all don't mean that's how I read it. How else does a nigga like that talk who comments on motherfucking Instagram? Nigga, streets! That's right, nigga. We in the streets right now. You internet niggas, this is the internet streets, okay? I said, you know what, nigga? I see the comment. I'm going to see you in the streets. We in the streets right now. <laughs> this is the internet streets, okay? Meta worlds, NFTs. What, what you think it's about to turn into? All this is about to be a facade, okay? Safe house media. I see the response. I see the I see the the reply to rebuttal. I know who you are. Spoiler alert, people. We actually know each other. All right, we're actually family. I, I'm a, I'm going to let them say it since you don't think there's any real beef. Come on, man. I'm not gonna be, we're really family. Okay. Shout out to my nigga Nino. I reply. I don't I don't reply. Oh, don't get twisted. I'm still petty. My petty card is still valid. I didn't reply from a mature perspective. No. 
Nigga, I ain't nobody say your motherfucking name, nigga. This is over, nigga. The biggest thing rolling. You know what time it is, nigga. God's favorite, boy. There are way more people than you in this motherfucking world. The fuck you on, bitch ass, nigga. You know, sin, nigga. You crazy? Are you crazy? You know how your dog do? Not having it. Cut straight into the dog. You know, you, you know how you know how like it's a long silence after you come to a nigga? A nigga kinda gather on his thoughts like, damn, this nigga just comes to me like that. Oh shit. That's what the fuck I felt. You can feel it in the air. He ain't respond. Then a nigga, the Mr. Discussion, Detroit Discussion comes in and says. Hey man, y'all handle that shit. Out the public eye. You know how what my man, uh, uh, you know how LA niggas be talk. Hey, what they talk with they motherfucking traps and shit? What they up here with their shoulders and shit. Hey man, y'all handle that shit out the public eyes. And, and since y'all know each other, hey Alba, follow me back. Rocking with the content I'm working. Let's go. I said, hey, 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 relax your traps. Relax, relax the traps, okay? It's okay. It's all right. Alba's not disgruntled. I know this young man, Safe House Media. I know, I know the people over there, the family. You know, but he didn't try to put me on blast. So I had to come back. I had to come to the dog. I couldn't let the dog see me in the streets and not get active. I'm Black Santa. Come on. I'm wearing purple today, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Come on. I'm not having it. I'm not going for it. It's not going. It's not going. Guess what? It's staying back because it ain't going. I ain't going for it. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, replies. I said, Niggas replying again. I done gave dogs the business. He replied. He say, Because the post is grouping everybody into one. So by saying you agree and basically saying everybody you're rocking is lazy or can't get the job done. I said, Man, what's up with this nigga voice, dog? Why he keep talking to me like this, dog? You know? I didn't respond. I said, I'm going to take straight to the streets, and here we are, nigga. In the streets, nigga! Right here, nigga. We in the streets right now, nigga. What's up? Let me tell you something, Safe House Media. Let me tell you something right now. Big and bold and never been told. Let me tell you something right motherfucking now, boy. You're wrong. <laughs> all right, that's all I got to really say. I don't really have too much to say about me. They're my boys, you know what I'm saying? You know, he tried to throw Nino's name in there. I know Nino was like, damn, why does he got to throw my motherfucking name in there? You're wrong. <laughs> Regardless, nigga, you was wrong. Um, Look, man, that's what I'm saying. I do understand his point, honestly. You know, his point, is, his point is, from what I understand, his point being that Vez categorized every videographer. All right? And I'm sure that there are videographers that have done exceptional work for Vez. Okay? I got an argument to that too, though. That's an opinion. That's a perspective. We're going to talk a lot about on my podcast about perspectives because perspectives, I figured it out. I have figured out the key to the fucking world. I get it now. I get why this world is never going to be successful. It's never going to prosper the way it's supposed to prosper because it's one key content piece of content that a lot of people lack it's called perspective it's called respecting perspectives i should write a book on it called respecting perspectives you know what i mean you know how like when you're a kid you teach a child how to share how to be nice not be rude be polite respecting perspectives goes in that fucking category goes into that genre of lessons that it's kind of like it's kind of like a, a lesson that an adult needs to learn you know what i'm saying because you probably don't respect it. You probably don't want to understand it as a child. Maybe you will. It seems pretty common sense to me. But whatever. My point is this. Safe House Media, listen. Just speaking on me in general. I'm going to stand by what I said. I'm going to double down on what I said. Okay? Detroit, our videographer world is fucked up. Our videographer scene is fucked up. All right? It's not all the way fucked up. I'm sure it's not as fucked up. I'm sure it's no different many other places. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is that 
I'm gonna take it a step farther. I don't think it's just Detroit. I forget a videographer. Um, what do you call it? The, the videographer career path. The 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 the, 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 the whatever that is. Like the, the the job title, the duty. Okay, that videographers have these days in the new in this, in this new generation, right? What I'm saying is that I'm sure they're fucked up in general. Okay. I might I, I kind of want to go and take a step further and say it's fucked up in our community. Really? I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna take it there. It's fucked up in our community. You know why? Because it's deeper than just being a videographer. Niggas don't have good business acronyms. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't have good business acronyms. Let me tell you why. Because we're not taught it. We're not taught off back. A lot of us are self-made entrepreneurs. Me, I'm a self-made entrepreneur. I don't take no classes for this shit. You know, my pop tried to get me into a business, but it was a business I didn't like. But he didn't, but my pops didn't sit here and say, okay, well, if you don't like this business, what business do you like? Well, you need to learn about this business then. You know, that wasn't the lesson. The lesson was, man, you need to listen to me and, and learn about the business I'm trying to put you in. And I'm like, nigga, I don't want to be in that. I, I don't have an interest in that business. But this is not, this is the way you're supposed to. Okay, well, that's the only way? You know what I'm saying? That's how I used to explain to people. So, so what I'm saying is that, listen. Speaking of videographers, because oh, it goes far, it goes deep. This was addressed. This concept, this, 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 this topic was addressed by another blog, girl. Some dork, some nerd, some square, Poindexter, Mark, ass nigga. We've never heard of him. We don't know who he is. Goes by Kid L. Have y'all heard of Kid L? Make some noise. Y'all know everybody in the studio right now. Make some noise if y'all heard of Kid L. We don't know who you are. Who the fuck are you talking to? Who the fuck are you talking about? And then you bring Mustache Man on there. Oh, you bring Mustache Man on the camera. Mustache Man? We don't rock mustaches. Look at me. The fuck are you talking about? You got whiskers mans over there. Look like a cat. No, man. Talking shit. Kid L. Kiefer. What's up, y'all? I, I don't really know y'all niggas like that. But, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to fry you regardless. <laughs> no, no, I didn't talk to Kiefer before. I, I, a while ago, I believe. Um, I fuck with dog. Um, <laughs> nah, man. Kid L, in a, Kid L has a podcast. And he brought... A dude named Keith on, and it was interesting to watch uh, because he only posted snippets. He didn't post the whole thing yet. I actually hopped in his DMs and said, "Hey man, where the fuck the interview at?" I'm, you know, I ain't telling. I'm about to do my podcast. I'm about to fry y'all niggas. Nah, I just said, uh, "Where the fuck the interview at, man?" You know what I'm saying? What's going on? And he and he was like, "Man, check the link in the bio." And the link in the bio was crazy. He like he killed me. So I the kid out, man. I kind of fuck with your sense of humor. I like that, you know. Um, nah, but you know, kid L jumped on his podcast and he said, you know, he, him being a a former or a current. I think he still does videos. I'm not sure. But regardless, you know, a relevant videographer is my point. Okay. A valid. He's valid to, you know, give some honest, raw opinions on being a videographer and the craft and the, and the industry that he's in. <coughs> and, and Kiefer is currently in it too. Kiefer did, um, he assisted with the, uh, the T Grizzly video first day out. Kiefer has some very interesting things to say. But see, I haven't seen the whole interview. I've only seen snippets. That's called clickbait. So I'm going to jump to conclusion. I'm telling you that now. Give me the disclaimer now. Because you niggas didn't drop the interview, now I just got to fry you off of my assumptions. That's fair, right? Don't say Oba's whole ass because he ain't watching me. Nah, nigga, that's all you gave me. And I got to continue my show. I'm not about to wait for you, niggas. Fuck you think you is. So, Kid L, okay? And Mustache Man. You guys had an opinion on videographers, and you turned it and switched it on Detroit rappers. No, Detroit rappers is bum ass niggas. Bum ass niggas don't want to pay for videos. Niggas don't want to pay $500 for a video, but want a $5,000 video. Ooh, nigga, you get what you pay for. Bum ass niggas want to do this and want to do that. It's, invest in this. it's called investing in your career and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I hear you. Here's the serious part. I'm talking shit about all the jokes and shit, but here's the serious part. Your, 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 your opinion was that. Detroit rappers don't understand the investments of their career. I would like to say to you now, look in the fucking mirror. Not you, but I'm just saying Detroit videographers. 
You got to understand that, nigga. The same way I'm investing into my career, nigga, you invest into your career. You understand? Nigga, don't come at me, bro. And just because I can't afford a $5,000 video, meaning I'm not investing into my career. You did? See, when you learn, when you get into this business, this shit gets deep. Because when you when you get millionaire friends, and a lot of them, I'm talking about niggas who are friends, niggas who are millionaires off of other shit and have been millionaires, okay? Not like this new age of millionaire where like, oh, yeah, they hit a lick in the end. That niggas, shit, they damn near got a million because they probably don't even have a million. It takes a lot to have a million and keep a million. That's more important, right? So how many of your friends have kept millions is the question, right? All right. So now, my point is this, Kiefer and Kidel. The same way rappers have to invest in their career, you niggas got to invest in your career, okay? So what I'm saying by that is, nigga, hey, nigga, if the climate that you in, niggas only get $500 a video, then you got to work your hand. That's what it is. It's the climate you're in. Until you take your ass to New York, L.A., where niggas will pay you $10,000 for a video, $18,000 for a video. I was in New York two years ago and got my mans a play, a videographer from here, got my mans a play for $18,000 video. For like two videos, you, you pocket $18,000 yourself. The budget was like maybe $25,000 or some shit. It was something crazy. But you pocket whatever the fuck you don't spend. You pocket yourself. So you pay yourself out of that. I've seen budgets like that from, from labels. Like, I, I literally helped facilitate a, a situation like that. Then ask for shit in return. Then ask for shit in return. Then ask for a dollar in return. Didn't even ask for a video. Just shoot me a video. I was like, yeah, bro, what you got going on? I mean, eventually, I, I did ask for a video. I mean, come on. The fuck? I just got you 18 racks. Dog, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> I don't even think the dog did it anyway. I don't even think he went through with it because I think it was too much for him to handle. It was too last minute or some shit like that. But regardless, my point is that, hey, other markets have bigger markets. Bigger markets have bigger markets. That's just what it is. Smaller markets have smaller markets. It's what that's called economy. You know what I mean? Simple. The answer is simple right there. That's it. That's the end of the discussion. That's the end of the beef. That's the end of the back and forthness. That's just the answer. That's a simple answer right there, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I think that you niggas don't really understand. Is that hey man, it's the it's, it's a business is two-way street, my boy. Don't sit here and call out Detroit rappers because, nigga, some of us can't fucking do this and some of us can't do that. And I'm not, I don't, you know, I, I shouldn't get this disclaimer, but I'm going to because y'all, y'all, I'm, I'm not. Y'all gonna call me broke anyway. I don't give a fuck. I'm, a, I'm broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But my point is this. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I'm gonna speak for all of us. Like, nigga, some of us ain't got it like that. Some of us do this, do that, and we willing and dealing it. And that is the investment. Time is the investment, my boy. Time is the biggest investment you can give to anything, bro. Because you can't get that back. Money you can get back. You know what I'm saying? You can get money doing something else completely different. You know what I'm saying? Time is something you can never get back. I can never be 25 again and be trying to fucking... You know what I'm saying? I can never be 21 again and be trying to explain to y'all I'm the hottest thing in the world. I can't get that back. But because I did for so many fucking years, okay? At some point in time in my career, I've had a little bit of recognition. Like, oh, baby, this nigga is hot. Let me check it out. And that's how I built. That's how I built my little, my little small little empire. I'm, I'm still trying to add on to, okay? So that's just me personally, you know what I'm saying? Giving my, giving my two cents on what y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? You guys got to understand it's a two-way stream. I've dealt with so many fucking videos. I've, dealt with, I've probably dealt with low-key every videographer up here except for like maybe the, like the new up-and-coming hood directors. You know what I'm saying? Like, how they dealt with, uh, it's a lot of guys out here, man. You know, it's a lot of guys uh, I haven't dealt with. I've dealt with a lot of guys. I don't know. No homo. Okay? No homo. No yam yams. Okay? Yikes. I haven't, I've just, you know, I, unless you're talking about the niggas who, I've even dabbled with that. I just played the intro song, Trap Panther Party. I mean, I'm sorry, no, no, uh, Trap tra tra Panther Spango Band, Trap Panther Party. That's my homeboy, L. Jenkins Brand. That's crazy. I mix that up like that. Um, <laughs> Trap Spangled Banner. You know what I'm saying? That shit was done by um, uh, what's my dog name? Uh, Get It Done uh, Media. Um, damn, I was name slipped my mind right now, bro. Damn, I feel like a piece of shit. He did a couple videos for me and hooked them up and flourish. That's going crazy right now. Um, Trap Spangled Banner. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucking classic record. Like, 
I mean, you know what I'm saying? He's a young boy, you know what I'm saying? But he's a young boy that he really ain't no videographer for real. You can ask him. I'm not trying to hate him or no shit like that. You can ask him. He really got other talents that he tried that he wants to, you know what I'm saying, divulge and get into. But right now, video, doing videos is a stepping stone for him. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I need somebody that's like, hey, on my team, I need somebody that's like, man, I'm doing videos. I'm about to be the coach and get this video shit. Ain't nobody in the world gonna see me nigga, and I'm gonna fuck and I'm about to fuck shit up. Guess who did that? That I've that, been around. I saw when they were 16 years old, 17 years old, doing this shit. Guess who? Jerry PhD. You fucking guessed it. That's right. You know? Everybody wants to be exclusive and, and be all, woo, 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 like Jerry had to follow them, woo, woo, and had to love. You think it's luck and think it's woo, woo, woo. No, nigga. Jerry fucking has been doing this since he was 12 years old. Since he was 12, he's been doing nothing but figuring out videographer. Videography. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, trying to figure out. I don't know if that's a word. We don't fucking care. We don't. We don't have a dictionary here, okay? In this metaverse, in this in this universe, we don't have a dictionary. Here. It's God's favorite podcast. These are God words, okay? So if you're not a God, you're not gonna understand it. Get the fuck on. Why well, just go off on y'all like that? Like y'all just don't understand me. I don't like, the fuck you niggas like or don't like. <clears throat> but look, Jerry, you know what I'm saying, like nigga, you know Jerry PhD, nigga, like amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, uh, artist, amazing, you know what I'm saying, worker, amazing uh, filmer, I don't know, what else you want me to call the nigga, you know what I'm saying, like, whatever, like, but it's certain things that people, like, people get mad, I, I've seen it, I've seen people get mad when they, meant, when when you say, yeah, I want a video like how he be doing, or like, I want niggas to work like how he be doing, and I've seen videographers get mad and get frustrated because, hey, Nigga, I'm not Jerry, nigga. No, this is what we do. I was like, bro, you missing the point. You know what I'm saying? And it takes a lot more to you. Like you, you can downplay it. All Jerry do is this, dude. nigga. It's a, it's a, it's a whole thing that comes behind that, behind what he has going on. It's a whole thing. You really gotta fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Then I, then I'm seeing niggas like Vulandis, who's more like a documentary type of style, type of, type of. You know, he comes from the picture world. Okay, he takes great pictures. Okay. And now he's now he's in, in later in, in the later years he start transforming into video work, you know. Um, Zay Primo, um, shit, nigga, uh, cardiac, nigga, who the fuck else? Uh, I mean, you know, me personally, one of my personal favorites up here, um, Diego, directed by Diego. Diego, we still we still got to talk to motherfucker, <laughs> but yeah, you know, like Diego, nigga, like who fucking with like. We got some fire niggas up here is what I'm saying. Careman Cash. He's a young bull that's, that, that's going cr For me, he's going crazy. <clears throat> he's the closest thing I've seen from a young bull that understands what it takes. And he's not even okay. He, he Once again, he's not really a cameraman like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, he like, you know he he understands what needs to be done to get to get the job done the way it needs to look. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I gotta say about that shit, man. You know, I think that, you know, I would love to sit down in the room and argue the fuck out of you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna shut you down. Cause you niggas are wrong. You're just wrong. Like nigga, and guess what? When somebody calls you out on something, don't be defensive. Don't put up fences and try to fucking defend yourself. You know what I mean? Just take your lick. Okay. That's fair. And explain maybe why that is, or explain how you feel about it, or what you going like. You know what I'm saying? Your two cents, but don't 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 fucking be defensive. Nah, I man, ask me on it. Nah, I mean, come on, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Take your lick, bro. Our videographer culture up here is kind of fucked up. It really is. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, like nigga, these rappers get be flashing thousands of dollars or or thousands of dollars in stacks and money and shit in the video. But only want to pay the videographer crumbs. Bitch ass nigga, that ain't your motherfucking money. The fuck is you talking about? What's your price? Your price is 500 Your price is 600 Your price is 800 Okay, cool. Bet. Here go your 800 Now, I got this 20000 right here I'm about to flash and stun on, nigga. You got paid your price. What I have is what I have. You don't determine your price over somebody else's pockets. What worth are you going to bring to the fucking table? Okay, your price is 2000 Okay, I got... 20000 right here. I want to flex. I don't want to give up $2,000 fucking dollars of it. The fuck are you thinking? Not when these other niggas over here are charging three fifty. It's the market you're in. It's the climate you're in. They're not wrong for that. Rappers aren't wrong for that, bro. Okay? Stop fucking... You got to learn some good business acronym. Acronym. Okay? 
That's what you niggas need. You niggas need fucking classes. The educations. I know some of you niggas want this full sale and spectrum and or what's the shit uh, uh Spec Specs Howard and shit and you know all this other shit. I, I get it. You know, I seen Romeo on the commercials. Okay, I see DC college, college. I seen the shit. All right, we talking about real life. Okay, you got business, you got street business, nigga business. Don't do nigga business. Stay away from nigga business. That's what a good friend of mine, uh, uh, you know, had, had told me once. He told me this this term is called nigga business. We don't do nigga business here. <clears throat> I instantly was like, okay, yeah, I like that. I like how you sound. I like how you talking. You know what I mean? I got a lot of friends that want me to do nigga business with them. You know what I'm saying? I'm be honest with you. I, I sit here and be like, okay, yeah, we can do it. And I disappear. I get the fuck on. I don't want to do nigga business. Nigga business for me wastes my fucking time. What's the most valuable thing you put into something? Time. There you go. Listen, the, 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 the jewels drop themselves. I don't have to drop them. The jewels drop themselves. Come on, y'all. You talking about icy? The jewels are going to drop anyway. It's up to you. It's, it's up to you to catch them. All right? So that's what's up, man. God's favorite podcast, man. I'm not going to keep y'all hold, hold it up today, man. It's the new year, man. Uh, much prosperity to everybody, man. Hope everybody, you know what I'm saying, gets focused, tunes in, and, and just, you know, gets ready, man, to just conquer the year, just conquer the next 12 months, you know, be appreciative that we even here to see another 12 months. Hope that we are able to hear to see another 12 months. You know, be thankful, be humble, uh, be gracious, be loyal. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, also, uh, <coughs> I got some news for y'all. Might be switching the podcast over to an actual, you know what I'm saying, uh, network. I think I am. You know, throw it out there for y'all, man. You know, I'm only seven podcasts in, but, you know, I'm having some, I'm having some, I'm having a good little run. Having some fun and a good little run, just expressing my thoughts and opinions. You know, today was kind of a calm, chill. I could have really got got that, got that. You know, safe house media. They're my brothers, I'm talking shit, really. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but uh, hey, I would love to sit down with you niggas and argue to fucking death. I would love it. All right. Also, I just talked all that shit about Jerry being such a great person. All that shit. Fuck Jerry, cause he fucking said something on my name before. I'm gonna see you, little boy. Now, that took a turn. No, I'm talking some shit. Jerry is my little brother, man. But <laughs> fuck Jerry, all right? Piece of shit. He told some people that I don't fucking pay. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> so I would love to sit down with you. I would love to have a fucking conference with videographers and rappers. And let's just have an all-out brawl, an all-out debate. So we can see who fries who. Because you know whatever side I'm on is going to win. So I would love to have that. I would love to kind of, like a versus battle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would love to fucking facilitate some shit like that. That would be very fun to do. But now, I mean, all, all in all, I don't really give a fuck what your, what your flaws are. What your, you know what I'm saying? Your ups and your downs are, man. About yourself, man. As long as you're just working on yourself to get better. Um, <clears throat> I appreciate everybody that came in my life and helped me out in my career. Even the ones I think did me wrong. Or once I did think me right. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I'm 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 thankful for the experience. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think all you guys should be thankful too, man. This is this is the year to be thankful, man. Be gracious that that you know what I'm saying? We still here. We lost a lot of niggas to this COVID shit. Lost a lot of niggas to this bullshit. Still got gun violence. We still got a lot of shit going on. You know? Hey, stay safe, stay out the way, man. Happy 22 to y'all, man. Welcome. We here, man. God's favorite podcast. Over on the biggest thing, rolling the West Side Hero. Y'all know what time it is. PSL. Welcome to the league, and we out here, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man.